for engineering cars here. So this is a 1990 Trabant 601S and we're gonna read it. I'm gonna talk around to everything. Before we do that, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn every single notification on. That way you'll never miss any uploads. So this car the prices start from very cheap, around 1,000 Gebrogen lever, which is a 100 Gebrogen lever more than you get from a 1982 RD80. I actually made a video about it as well. If you actually want to know more about it, follow the link in the description below. So let's look around first through the back. So you've got the Trabant badge and the 601S badge and everything like a normal car. And this real exhaust moving down from the sides so you've got 13s these are 13s rise up to 15s that brings on to the interior on this car so first up you've got half analog half digital drive display but the new analog speedometer goes all the way up to let me check 120 kilometers an hour but it could even do a little trick that it could do 140 kilometers an hour in that nonsense. So you've got this for the hazard lights, this for the lights, and this is for the wipers. It's very old fashioned, you know. Look at these controls. And look at this three pedals, this for the ignition, and this is the four speed manual gearbox. So it is different. Like look at this. First, second, third, fourth. Right? And this would have it. And you've got like a lot of storage. So storage here. Even some storage here. Storage even here as well. And some more storage at the back. But that brings on to three annoying things about this Trabant. All of these Trabants have only the right rear view mirror. Why is there no left rear view mirror? It's very frustrating if you ask me. Can't move in any direction. You have the same problem with the RD80, the RD90, the Wartburg 353, and the Mazda 2, and then this. What the f***? So, the last thing to do is talking around the engines. So, only have one choice. Yes, you got it. This is a 0 0.6 liter, two cylinder, naturally aspirated engine that makes 26 horsepower, but you can even get it with 60 horsepower. Talks the same though. 75 newton meters. So, what's my final verdict on this Trabant? Avoid it, shortlist it, consider it, or buy it. Well, you could just shortlist this thing. It's a really good car to drive. Otherwise, if you don't have the money, just avoid it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a like, follow for more cars like this. Also, comment down, watch the next, and subscribe to my channel.